Last. Last is the word today, and it is the last entry in the last day of the month. So we're about to launch into September, I guess. I'm recording all of this across one day. I've been doing this job, writing games, creating games, selling games, for longer than I've done most other things in my life. I never thought there would be a time where I wouldn't do it, not least of all because my mental health issues and so on mean there aren't a lot of other options for me. But it has become more and more difficult, less and less satisfying, I have become more and more disenchanted with the gaming scene and, and the industry over the last few years. Tremendous amount of disappointment in people that I thought really well of, that they haven't stood up for free expression, that they haven't stood up for necessary ethics, that they've been willing to throw me and their other friends under the bus at the insistence of strangers, the censorship that's crept into places like drive through RPG and so on, and into our culture as a whole. It's just not as satisfying or as rewarding in any way as it, as it otherwise has been. Um, I feel very much alone, I feel very much an outlier in being a, a principled left-wing person who isn't a lunatic. Um, and then on the other side, as a reaction to that, the right contains an awful lot of lunatics as well that I don't want anything to do with. <laughs> um, so I get caught in the, in the middle of an increasingly polarised society and an increasingly polarised creative community and don't really have a sense of belonging anymore and it's just not as fun as it was. I don't think I'll ever stop gaming because the, that side of things can't be can't be fucked over for me but creating I know this will make some people incredibly happy could I, I could for the first time ever I could see myself stopping creating gaming material and try and find something else to do. I enjoy doing these videos but that's mostly for personal therapeutic reasons more than making money and I've chosen the worst time if I wanted to try and turn YouTube into a paying career. But uh, it's just not fun anymore because of arseholes, um, because of censorship, because of the atmosphere of fear, the kind of McCarthyite purges that <laughs> repeatedly go on and um, there's no pleasing anybody so you know and the kinds of things that I'm interested in, I'm drawn to controversy, I'm drawn to difficult subjects uh, horror, sex, things like that and these are absolute minefields. I mean, they always have been, but not to the extent that they are now, and not from the kind of quarters that you would expect to be upset about these sorts of things. Something is deeply wrong, and it's especially wrong that it is so drastically affecting the creative community. The creative community relies on the ability to freely express itself and to make mistakes get things wrong, make a bad product and then move on and do the next thing and not be f forever held over for that one bad move that they did. So for the first time ever, even though it's unlikely to happen, I could see myself stopping and trying to find something else to do, something more creatively fulfilling in a creative community that is less hostile, judgmental, bigoted, nasty, petty grudge-bearing and horrendous <laughs> as, as nerd media has become. And that's a, a horrible feeling. A lot of the things I've said over the course of this month have been negative and I know that the meme is supposed to be positive but I have a hard time being positive with the state of things being the way they are. And we're standing up for the people on a principle of justice, on a requirement for evidence, on defending their creative freedom even if I happen to disagree with how they've used it 
and being demonized for it. It just it just sucks the life and the freedom and the joy out of everything. But maybe that's just the depression talking. But probably not. Zhang.